What up traders? It's about 11 o'clock mid trade session. I'm actually in a trade right here on Netflix, but I want to do this video for the people that don't know how to let their winners run. All right. So I'm in these one, uh, 290 calls. All right. So my entry was actually earlier. Well, actually it was yesterday. So I got in down here at this wick by like 288. All right. That's when I got into these calls. So now price is way above my entry. All right. And you could notice that I have my stop right here, which is actually above my entry in profit. All right. So if you look on the right here, I bought these calls for about 175. Okay. And I already took a lot of them off because the trade's running, it's in profit, and targets are being hit. So I'm taking off my taking off some of the position along the way. So I'm left with two contracts now. All right. And as long as price can hold above this 293.89, I'm not touching these things. All right. That's why you see my stop is below this last pullback. Okay. So I'm not willing to give the market any more than right here. All right. So if it starts to pull back, I'm going to trail out of the position. It's going to close me out. And I'm actually going to take home some more profit, even though this stop is going to get hit. All right. So there's one, there's two ways you could do this. All right. Um, you could either set a trail stop like I did. So this order right here, if price comes down and hits it, it's going to take me out and my position is going to be closed. Um, or you could do it mentally and say, hey, if price actually wicks uh, or breaks below this level, um, I'm going to be looking to see if one, it's a wick um, and it rejects or two, if it's actually confirmation and it's dropping pretty hard, then you're going to want to put a market order out and get out of your position. Um, so those are the two ways you could let the winners run. This is my favorite way just to put a stop loss below, you know, the, the most recent pullback. Um, and yeah, that's just how I go about doing it. And it's working right now because I don't have to touch the position. I know that I'll make X amount if it doesn't end up running. Um, and yeah, if it does end up running, you know, it runs and I'm good and I can hold until whenever I want. I'm planning on getting out of these at 298 uh, today. Today's Friday. These contracts expire today, so I got to get out of them regardless. But I'm going to let this run. I already took off. Um, about a thousand bucks so floating left there's about 770 bucks right here you can see what the current market price is 560 for these options contracts and i was buying them at 170 so great returns today on netflix that's my tips on how to uh let your trades run let your winners run um for those that struggle i just gave you two ways of how you can you know fix that problem all right because it's a big problem if you want to make a lot of money trading you're gonna have to learn how to let these winners run and you know just listen to what i'm telling you i know it's hard to do it's much harder than you know holding a losing trade um surprisingly but that's just the way it is once we're in the trade actually see green uh it, you know we want to take it off as soon as we can right but just let it run put that stop in place and don't freaking touch it. I could close my eyes right now and, you know, let the market do whatever it's going to do. It's going to do whatever it wants to do. So just let it. All right. That's my before I get on a rant, I'm going to end it there. But that's my tips. Hope you guys got something from this video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Have a green day. And I hope you enjoy your weekend. Peace.